Members, the results of the division on the motion are as follows. Abstentions, one. The no's, 44. The ayes, 281. So the ayes have it. And the results brought to the speaker are duly signed by all the four nominated uh, tellers. Honourable members, I have a short communication following that. The order, order. The House is still in session. I have the following communication to make, honourable members, before we open the bar on the decision of the National Assembly on the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Regat Kashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable members, as I had guided the House earlier in today's sitting, Article 145.2 of the Constitution sets a threshold of at least two-thirds of the members of the National Assembly to vote in support of a special motion for proposed removal by impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic for the motion to be carried. According to the results of the division on the motion that I've just declared, a total of 281 members being more than two thirds of the members of the National Assembly have voted in support of the motion. Article 145.2a of the Constitution provides that, I quote, if a motion under clause one is supported by at least two thirds of all members of the National Assembly, the Speaker shall inform the Speaker of the Senate of the resolution within two days. In this regard, I'll proceed to discharge the singular duty placed on me by Articles, Article 145, 2B of the Constitution and, and under which to notify the Speaker of the Senate of the resolution of the National Assembly. The clerk is directed to prepare the necessary documentations to accompany the resolution. The House will resume tomorrow, Wednesday, 9th October 2024, at 9.30 a.m. to resume with the regular business as scheduled by the House Business Committee. I thank you. Members, will you now be upstanding? <laughs>